The first one is to get a dynamic date of current date plus seven days. Over here, you'll see the, the formula looks like this, okay? So the base date just takes today's date, okay? Date, square brackets. And then the next set of square brackets is plus 7D for seven days. And then we want it in this format. Date, month, and year. And I'll show you what we get when we run that, okay? F6. Okay. Today is the 9th, as you can see down here on the uh, calendar. So seven days, calendar days, will bring you to the 16th of the 6th, 2022. So there you go, seven days into the future. Now, if you want to get a dynamic date of the current date to seven days long month, all right, you're going to use this. Three M's. Okay, that'll give you a long month. So let's see what date two. There you go. Sixteen dot June J U N dot two thousand and twenty two. Now, if you want to calculate the days difference between two dates, so we use date diff Excel function. I give it the date, in which case here it's 2018. That was the example I took or copied. And the second date is 2018, the second, 2021. So about 11 days into the future, okay? And we want, we want it in days, we want the difference. So let's run that. There you go. Date three comes up as 11 days into the future. Now you could put a dynamic date in there and you could put on the right hand side, you could put a date in from some sort of contract or bank account or whatever, but you get the general idea, right? Now here's a feature I got Tricentus to add when I needed it <laughs> about two years ago and it took me about a year to, to put it into the package. One working day into the future. I was working on a trade management system and the test was failing because it was just working a day into the future. So the tests were failing on the Friday because the next day was a Saturday, but what we really wanted was a Monday. So we can show you the format. It's just date as usual, empty base date, and the offset square bracket plus one with a lowercase w. Let's see what it gives us. So, plus working day. Today's a Thursday, the 9th, and it comes up Friday, the 10th of June. Okay. Now, let's see, say two working days. What do you think is going to happen? You think it's going to come up with the, uh, the 12th? It's going to come up with the 13th, which is Monday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is to find the day of the week of a given date. One. There you go. So the 18th of March 2018 was a Sunday. And there you go, the first day of the week. Now, how to get the date of the first Monday of the current week? There you go, today. Then the weekday today plus two. So to get the date of the first Monday of the current week, here you can see the formula. Take today and then we subtract weekday of today and we add two days to it, okay? Date six. Six to the sixth, okay? The sixth to the sixth. That's the Monday we just had, okay? Next one is given two dates, we find which date is bigger 
of the two dates. Here we can use a reasonably complicated formula. Calc if this date, the 3rd of January, is greater than the 24th of February. True or false? And of course it's false. And last but not least, single digit day and double digit dates. Don't know how these all come into that. F7. Okay. So this one, you'll take a note that we have three capital M's. And this one we have percentage M, which means if the month is a single digit month, January, February, March, April, May, it represents it as one, two, three, or four without a leading zero. This one is just showing you how to add one day. Okay. You want your date in that format, separated by dots. This is how you just get a general date into a buffer. Okay. This is how you get the day. In other words, long Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if you want seven days into the future, just get your base date, leave it alone, leave it empty, and then go plus 7D, calendar days, okay, into the future, and you want it in dot separated, long month, okay? And then we got format. We can got a date here, 31st of the 12th, with forward slashes. We're going to add a day to it, and we want the answer in with hyphens, okay? So let's just run that. Okay, so the value 31 forward slash 12 cannot be interpreted as a date according to dd.mm.yyy. So this is a common problem. I see it in the chat group all the time. Just change it to what Tusk is actually expecting. Or you can use a TC configuration parameter. Like Tosca has accepted that now. And you can see from the last day of this year, plus one will bring you to 01, 01, 2023, separated by hyphens because you used your hyphens in here. All right. I haven't come across any more kind of questions around dates, so hopefully that covers all the bases. But if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, ideally. And don't forget about the Telegram group, which I have uh, linked to in the description. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.